The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or your cable provider. MATV welcomes your comments. Please call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. Welcome to the second game of the playoffs here at the ALBL. I am Brad with Ben, always representing Nesta Dudley to my right and on camera, MNBL rep of the defending champion Celtics, Joe Young. That's mighty Joe Young to mighty you. Mighty Joe Young, you are right. The bullets start off 2 nothing. Mighty Joe Young's not wearing the headset. That was Anthony Machichi opening up the game. The, the bullets have not won a game all season. Can they pull off the miraculous victory? Can they do what others could not do? Could they do anything they haven't done all year? And that's win. The Bullets' task is a huge, tall order. I have to tell you, Brad, I always thought in the MNBL that two should play three in the first game and one play four in the second game because you come in first place you should get all of the advantages yeah and i always thought that 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 should be the case that seems to make the most sense yeah, to me. yeah we can put that up for option next oh i always put it up for option it always got shot down oh i never even knew it came up well we gotta bring that up in a meeting and maybe, you know we'll probably vote for it i don't see why not doesn't hurt oh short rims there's 14 right there James Alphonse is hands down the best king on the team. We got earrings still in. These people, they've been sitting here for like an hour and a half. Just like the MNBL. Yeah. Two to two. Again, this is the second cable cast game of the Al Lock Basketball League that we like to call the ALBL. The first place kings going up against the fourth place bullets. Oh, and that brings nightmares into the MNBL. Oh, that was nice, nice pass. That was David Vertico. Verdio. I apologize if I pronounced it wrong, but it looks like David Verdio. For the bullets. Running your point is Dalen Langston. Dalen Langston running point for bullets. Number 11, we already said earlier, Anthony Machichi hit the first basket. Coming into the game already for the Bullets. Is not on our roster. Who's not on our roster? Number 15. It says 15 or 9. Oh, okay, okay. Ronald. He has home Edelson. and away jersey. Okay. <laughs> one that he doesn't wash and one that he does. So if they advance tomorrow, he wears the other one. Or oh, advance to the championship next week. This David versus Goliath. Demersion versus Brenna. It's a big time face to face battle. Will the Bullets win? Look at the head fakes by James Shue. There he goes, Alphonse. Alphonse always on the giddy up. Very strong player. Will be coming to either the high school team or the MNBL next year. It's the first. Oh, 
This is the second. Nice rebound right there. Bad pass. Kicking it out. Jordan James rocking the do-rag, number two. What is the commission of AOB all Tom Herder blabbering out about? He's apologizing for calling people the wrong name. Hasn't he been here all year? It's the playoffs, man. You gotta be perfect. He's swallowing the mic, Brad. He's gotta pull it away. <laughs> Put it on your chest and say <laughs> A mic should be eight inches away from your lips. A minimum. Unless your voice carries like his and it should be 12. The whole bullets, the whole King squad switching up five. And Alphonse is a lefty. What grade is he in? Ninth. He's coming up next year or he's playing high school. Got good skills down here. The next level, we don't know. Nice right there, wide open. Can't miss that one. Ronald Adozen. Oh, got away with that one. Good defense. Galen Langston, like I said, running back. Alphonse again on the left side of the rim. Timeout bullets. Just as they were starting to get warm, the whole King's starting five comes out. The Kings must know something we don't. Well, they finished in first, so, and the Bullets haven't won a game. I guess it's not going to hurt you too much. I'm telling you, Brad, I'm looking at the Bullets, and I'm like, you know, this team is pretty good. I, I don't know how you can go a season blanked on the snide. That's not an easy thing to do. No, it's not. A whole season. They do have some big boys out there. A couple of them are trying to be too pretty. But if they just play hard ball, they get the height. They get the height definitely right now with the five that just came in. They utilize that and bang down low. Come the new Kings, the new five, I, I should say. Running the point, Andy Lamb. The Bullets number four, LJ Long. And I know you know who that is, LJ Long. LJ Long, that's why I saw uh, Andrea Long, Pepe Long in here yep. earlier. I saw Pepe walk He looks like the rest of the Longs. Oh, it, she, he looks just like Jason. Does LJ stand for little Jason? Because he looks just like him. There goes LJ. A nice little protect the body there. Rakeem Knight. 10 to 10. They tied it up again. Combo 20. You are right. <laughs> Damn it. And you even said it out loud. Yes. <laughs> There's a nice move there by Lamb. Lamb, a nice little player. He knows what he's doing out there. I don't have the, the grades on these yet. I'll get it from Tom Herter at halftime. Oh, a nice block. That block was provided by Melvin Fontanas. 
Lamb bringing up the ball. Here comes Dalen. Or Langston, whatever you want to call him. It's a nice name, Dalen. Long or take all three of these. Oh, Just was, like he, brother. That was a long shot. <laughs> it was a long shot. And there's a battle. Eric Rufo. Eric Rufo with the fluffy hair out there, number six. Lamb with a nice spin, beautiful move. Oh. Blocked. Blocked by Edosian. The man with two numbers. Three point land has got to get out of there. Oh, they buried themselves. Couldn't go anywhere. Bolts and Kings very sloppy right now, but the bullets are only down two. Not bad for a team. We ain't got to win. Oh, Brad, would this be a huge upset? Oh, good fake. Nice lob pass. Oh, and they got it to go. Rakeem Knight with a quick two baskets. 12 12. players again. Nice play by Long. That was nice looks. Oh, sure. Got to hit something. He hit his head. Nice steal by Lamb. Nice inlet pat. Pass from Morin. Or Moran. Brandon. Oh, Lamb. he took some steps. Yeah, I, I like that, Brad. He was like, I'm going to that hole. <laughs> Hey, and he actually went no left fear. too. And he went left too. What's his name? Dalen Langston. How old is he? I don't know. I will, I'll find out after the first quarter. I hope. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. He's in the MNBL next year or high school. Yep. Nice play. Matt Howe, the the coach's son. Violation. Violation on the bullets. Matt Howe puts that basket in. He is the coach's son. The head coach of the Kings is Steve Howe. The head coach of the Bullets, Rich Fallon. Oh, they're calling a foul or are they calling the out of bounds? Nope. Oh, yeah, there's a foul. Melvin Fontanez. There's actually a Melvin in this league. At the line, Rakeem Knight. Oh, awkward form. Joe Young leans forward when he shoots free throws. Joe Young leans forward when he shoots. Joe Young also let go of the camera. We got a shot at the ceiling. <laughs> so I was trying to make a commentation. He hit both free throws, so it works for him. Nice shot. Rufo with the nice deuce, nothing but net. Oh, he rushed it too much, and there goes Howe again. Oh, but he lonesome. Blows the bunny. The Neither one of them used the glass. Deserve not to hit it. Rufo with the turnaround. All right, he went two high glasses. Nice rebound there. You got Langston on the wing. Puts it up. Oh! At the end of the first 10, the Kings are up 16 to 14. With combo of 30. 30. <laughs> We have a tightly contested game right now. Everyone said it's going to be a blowout. I don't see it. The bullets ain't that bad. Oh, the bullets got some size. Yeah, they got a good size. Point guard seems pretty smart.
Ball's checked in. Jordan James kicks it over to Maurice Mayris. Don't know how to pronounce it, but it's M-A-Y-R-A-S. I, I think so. Jordan James with the deuce. Michael Jordan James, number two. Fouls on a dozen. I'm actually surprised they get to wear their hit piece on this, on this level, Brad. I am too. There goes Alphonse, changes hands, gets it right back. Oh, he blew the bunny. Rufo, no good. Who's number nine? Daniel Zavala. I have, a, I have a small note here from the commissioner here. The Bullets have not won a game, but they are the most improved in the league. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, that's what I'm going to say. That was a three for Maurice Mayris. Myra. That's how these people stop dribbling. There's a big man who's got to go inside. Yeah. Nice pass. Yeah, nice man. Use the glass. The big man, number 14, William Caneo. And number 14 for the Kings, James Alphonse, just dribbled it off his big piggy. Turnover. Well, he has been known to be a ball hog. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Oh, they called a timeout. Okay. Actually. He, he could have called the push off, the offensive push off, because. But now, I guess. Uh, he, Steve Howe was saying that. The, the Kings, he's saying that was a push off. Well, they used up their one foul for the half, Brad. I yep. mean, foul. One timeout. Timeout for the half. Okay, we have some notes here for the Bullets. What to look for? Wilden Sertle will be chairman of the boards. Adosian should help. Langston usually directs the offense along with Long. The best outside shot is Caneo, who just hit the last one. Rakeem Knight, Bobby Murphy, Kevin Alicon can set up. The Bullets can make the upset. Well, I guess they haven't stepped up yet this year. Nope. Bullets tighten their defense, control the boards, keep the ball out of Andy Lamb's hands make the King shoot outside and keep it a low scoring game, they can win. I think they should be more concerned with Alphonse. Dozen at the line. Front rim's the first. You got two years left. <laughs> Rufo with the rebound gives it to Alphonse. Oop. Stop dribbling. Oh, tough shot. Nice rebound by Alphonse. Good control. Takes the three. No good. Ooh, tough pass. They let him play down here, Brad. Oh, that's a foul. Yep, they're doing the line change. Everybody but Alphonse comes out. Steve Howe doesn't like what he sees, even though they're, they're winning. Here he is with the backpack. No dribbling. 
Nice move there by Lamb. Put right back in by Alphonse. Yeah. Nice ball movement by the Kings. Uh, didn't move inside, no one cut. Langston gets mugged by Alphonse. And Alphonse doesn't think he did a thing. He mugged him. Close line, oh, look at the open man. Oh, that was a bad shot. Ball put up by Sertle. Oh, he rushed it. Oh, why is hot potato, hot potato. No one wants to touch it. No one wants to use glass. There, there you go. go. There goes Good things happen Matt here, Howe. Brad, when you use the glass. Timeout bullets. Matt Howe put that one back in. Score should actually be 25 to 18. 25? They, they didn't give him the basket. It's been 23-18 for the last two, three minutes. Really? Yeah. Hey, Brad, you're in a dilemma. Do you point that out or do you stay out of it? Not my lead. I can't help you. They're doing volunteer work. If they were getting us dinner like they promised, then I'd hook you up. <laughs> but I, as far as I know, it was 20. There they go. See? Okay. I, they found it. Took them a while. I keep my eye on the numbers. Not that I care. I wouldn't mind seeing an upset. But that might not happen since they haven't won a game in three years. Brad, if it was the love set, you know what that would be? It would be Lakers bullet. Yes, it would. <laughs> After a bullet king, why not a Laker bullet? Actually, if the Kings advance and, you know, ALBL commissioner Tom Hurd is going to give Lester a Lakers jersey and Conchester a Kings jersey. I just thought oh, about that. That's right. So I'm actually kind of pulling for the Kings. That's for right. One of the very Few times in my life. Yeah. Bullet for the Kings. <laughs> I was kind of wanting to see the Bullets upset. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. I mean, I, you know, a team hasn't won all year. They beat the number one team. That's good for the kids. 27 18 coming back into the game. A dozen finally coming back in. The bunnies blocked by Alphonse. Matt Howe receives the deep pass. He's the doorman. He just banged his forehead off the door. But it's padded, so there's no need to worry. Costa sleeping on the job. Sees him down court, but he's no John Elway. Or Tom Brady, I should say. Yeah, they might not know who Elway is, Brad. That's true. I'm sorry. I'm a huge Elway fan. That just came out. That's three on him in the first half. That's not good. And he's saying he's got all balls. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I see the real kings of history, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the MNBL kings. Yep, he's on it. But Costa did make the call, so it could have been wrong. LJ Long. Well, it's got to be careful of three seconds. They're in and out a lot. Oh, there they go, right up the middle. Got to stop the ball. Lamb, nice pass back. Oh, Grim's out. I like this Andy Lamb, number five. 
the ball up. Good eyes, looks always to pass. Why not? Three for a dollar. Long brings the ball up. Oh, bad pass. I saw that coming. Fontanez can't get it to go. Coming the other way, trying to go between his legs. You're a big man being defended by a little man. You don't need to dribble between your legs. Tom, pull the mic away. Violation, I give him room. Oh, there it is. Steal again. Fontana's hammered by a, a dozen. And he's clapping hands like he did something good. He just committed a foul. Now that's three on there, big man. And the coach ain't taking him out. You got three on your big man. You got to get him out of the game. It's still the first half. Melvin hits the first. 248, 10 point King Lee. Hits them both. Long being pressured, he's got to pass the ball on pressure. Nothing more annoying than a point guard who just refuses to pass when he gets defended. Oh, he's trying. Good move. Yeah, that was a nice spot move to the hole. Bobby Murphy. Out of limb. Fred, I just realized something. Bobby Murphy's my neighbor. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I'm like, he looks familiar. Well, I've seen him before. I see him in the parking lot when I'm walking for a car. He's my neighbor. Quite an awkward shot there by Kevin Alican. Three seconds on the bullets. I called that early. The bullets got to get out of there. They're in and out too much. Down nine, minute 50 to go in the first half. Wide open, Brad. And he hits it, makes the best of it. Wilden Sertle. Andy Lamb. Now for Howe. Nice inlet to Fontana's. Three seconds. Oh, Costa uses up all his three seconds for the AOBL bread. That was on Maurice Mara. Minute 16, down seven. Long, be impatient, being very patient. Good move. A little too much. Use glass. There, there he you is. Sertle is starting to warm up. He was one of the names we mentioned earlier. For the Kings, Jordan James is probably their best outside shooter. Matt Howe seems to get in and out of trouble when they need him to stay in the game. So he's got to be careful. Nice play, Sertle into the middle where he should be. Yeah, off the glass. They're down three. They were just down 11. Here come them bullets. 20 seconds. Nice pass. Again with another foul. If that's on a Dojan, that's four. Oh, it was 
Oh, number seven. Bobby Murphy, your neighbor. Now that's your winter home. Does he know that you live there? Does he come by for autographs? No, I try to keep it on the QT. All right. Hush, hush. All right. On the QT, not the QG. Not the QG. All right. <laughs> I know you're not on the QG no more. It's on the QT. Oh, that. What's she going to do with a season of nothing else to do? <laughs> going to buy a lot of Lakers gear off the mbbl19.tripod.com, oh. I bet. Hey, I hear you. Why not? A good effort there last second. 20 up, oh, 26, 31. The bullets came back, still trailing by five. Any synopsis, Nestor, or we're just going to see you in the second half? We're just going to see you in the second half. Fair enough. We're done. <laughs> Welcome back to second half action. We're already underway, and the Kings are on the giddy the other way in a steal, but they're going to call a foul from behind. Starting fast and furious. <laughs> Up court, nice pass back. Use glass. Nice move right there by Sertle. Celtics going off a pizza. Maybe we can hook up with him. <laughs> After hey. this game, I'm going to have to call Go Ref Go and get him so he can do the uh, MNBL games. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, there's a mugging. Get up now. <laughs> so he bet I'm doing all this driving and gas went up two cents again last night. The 311. I know. I saw that last night when we were driving by. Know what you got to do? Here's a little thing for you. Revere, Squire Road. Nice basket by Jordan James. Squire Road, the gas station right across from Chicago Pizza. It's 11 cents off or 9 cents off on Tuesdays. Go there and fill up on Tuesday. That's what I have to do. And when all else fails, Salem Street and Medford. That's where I always go. That's the cheapest gas around. Nice pass, no glass. Kings seem to be struggling. First place, they're up five, but they're struggling. They were the heavy favorite today. LJ Long. Oh, they gave him lane. He's got to hit that, bank that off the glass better. Sertle, has, he can have a field day today if he just uses that glass high. Oh, damn. No foul. Anthony Machichi is everywhere. Got a couple fouls, but he's everywhere. Ooh, tough pass. Machichi with the loose ball. Should have passed that to Sertle, who was wide open. There goes Verdillo, or Verdu. Air ball. Ray Sean Hopkins with that air ball Ray for those Hopkins. who didn't. Ray Sean. Oh, Lord. I don't know what Long was thinking on that one, but that was fourth and Long on that shot. That was terrible. And here comes the bench for the Kings. Alphonse coming in with three fouls. He's got to be careful. Look at all these jerseys, Brad. That's a lot of subs. Looks like the coach's all-star game. Which will be tomorrow. For the MNBL. Coach's all-stars here. The coaches will be killed. <laughs> <laughs> Next Saturday, this league has a coach's all-stars? This league has a coach's all-star, Brad. Really? Oh, Lord, what was he thinking? I'd like to see, what's her name, Mary Ann Murphy or whatever her name is? I'd like to see, is she going to play? Coach oh, of the Lakers? Mary Ann Foley? Well, yeah, Foley, Foley. Oh, Foley. She's playing? 
Mighty Joe Young play? He doesn't even coach in this league. How is he playing? He coached two, two games. games. He makes them eligible. <laughs> well, there goes Alphonse. What teams did you coach? Lake. Oh, he coached Island. the Lakers. He's, he left the team that's going to the big dance? Oh, that's a big time foul, no call. Langston with the ball. Kicks it over to Alicon. Trying to get it inside. Bobby Murphy just couldn't get it to fall. Five minutes to go, 37-28. Kings lead by nine. Maybe you should help him out with his free throws since you're his neighbor. That didn't look good. My mission this summer is going to be helping out, helping out Lester. That's true. But I do see the MNBL Lakers in the future of Bobby uh, Murphy. Yeah, <laughs> With those free throws. It could happen. He's a tall kid, too. Yes. I have all the grades. He is a ninth grader. He's coming up next year. Nice play by Matt Howe. Now, when I assisted down here three years ago, Matt Howe was here. He was a seventh grader. Nothing like the player he is now. Much improved. Oh, nice try for the give and go. Just couldn't do it. Andy Lamb, again, always looking. There we go again. You got a phone up. call, Brad. Blowing up. Well, it's, you know, everyone realizes it's now I'm awake. Hello. Not the games. Playoffs? Bulls take the timeout. Yeah. With three minutes and 49. Ticks left to go in the third. Lakers Bullets. They started nine. Uh, down by 11, 39, 28. And about another 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Rogers of the MNBL Kings. Totally forgot that we had games today. <laughs> oh, you're down there, huh? You and Nestle? Yeah, yeah. There he goes. Lose the ball. Murphy with the ball. Sertle trying to get it. Not very aggressive, but he's got to go after it. Murphy getting Murphy, hammered. Huh? He's doing work. The bullets are dominating the boards. They just, they're losing by 11. I don't understand this. They can't put the ball in the hole. Laker. <laughs> Melvin Fontana's with the foul. Sertle at the line. Misses both. Rebound again goes to the bullets. Inside for Sertle, just he's got to go. Why be? He's too passive. He's got to learn to attack. Andy Lamb, nice move. And the foul by Murphy. Commissioner of the MNBL, Ken Mazonson in the building. Looks a little happy today. Oh, oh it's locked. Andy Lamb at the line, misses the first. Hits the second. They're going into the press, Brad. 
they don't feel 12 is enough. Oh, he doesn't even. Murphy's got to realize that he can't dribble. He's got to give up that rock. Oh, he stopped again. Sertle, you've got to block. Sertle has Alphonse on him. He has to go to the hoop. Alphonse has three fouls. You've got to get him out of that game. Melvin at the line, misses the second. Inside. Oh, Couldn't Jack get Rizzi. that to fall. With the rebound, that go. was Rayshawn Knight. Rakeem Knight, I'm sorry. Andy Lamb with a nice layup. All right, Tom, we know. The gym knows. <laughs> He's screaming. Now, the sad thing about this, Nesta, the bullets are on the schneid the entire year. The real sad thing is every player on the bullets is graduating this year. Oh. They're all in the ninth. He's going to pick a whole new team next year and go another 0 for 10. Unless, well, they get the first pick, right? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they can get some. Oh, that's a, that was an offensive foul. That was a definite offensive foul. Oh, I'm blowing up. Up 14. Oh. Who is this? It's not Chris Rogers. There goes Melvin Fontanas with a nice pass to Lamb. Behind his back, nice pass. Rufo with the basket. Nice pass behind the back by Lamb. I'm going Iron Man with a minute and a half to go in the third. 46-30. Off his foot of the bullets. The bullets are falling apart. Joe Young, what is going down? Alphonse sees a wide open Fontana's for an easy basket off the backboard. We got a line change. Oh, nice look, but he didn't cut. It was a nice pass by James Shue, but no one realized what they were doing. I actually think there might be two bullets coming back next year. But I have a list of 11 bullets that are in the ninth grade. Watch the push-offs. Fontana's with the loose ball to Alphonse. Alphonse not looking up. He had an open lamb. Trying to go for his. Alphonse at the line, not very good at the free throw line. He's, he's showing Andy Lamb, nice move there. Alphonse with the easy layup, the hoop and the harm. 52 to 30. The first half was close, the second half, not even close. Chris Rogers of the MNBL Kings has arrived to help on the microphone. <laughs> he's been here 20 years, he ain't helped yet. Andy Lamb with the ball. Trying to feed Alphonse again over to Fontana's. Nice jump up. 
I could be wrong, but I think it's 54. Doesn't really matter. The score is irrelevant at this time. We're just about to end the third quarter. And the Bullets throw another one away. How nice pass to Alphonse. Very unselfish. And there goes the end of the third. The Kings are graduating a heap of ninth graders as well. I have seven on the list. But at the end of three, 52 to 30, in favor of the Kings, the highly favored Kings, this is what we expected. Fourth quarter action starting very shortly. Set. I got a whole team to choose from, huh? <laughs> no, I'm waiting for the senior. Two, eight, two, eight, three, and two here. Who decide what to play in the senior year? The, the first person that takes it to the whole strong, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it'll be one of them. And, I, and, and actually, I'm going to put something new in the tryout. We're not going to do that dribbling up and down. We're going to get them on the line and have two free throws. <laughs> nice move by Serto. Still can't hit. The bullets are just struggling. Well, second to last, I mean. Kings slowing it down. They really don't have anything to prove right now. They're up a heap of points. Yeah, 24 to be exact, Brad. That is true. That was easy math. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to be awake by now, Brad. It. I'm wide awake. <laughs> I said it three, four times. I just didn't want to say it again. Oh, okay. Ooh, well, he got away with a travel. So I put him out there then. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all right. Well, I was out in the hallway. I had to take that right. phone call. You had an important phone call from, I, you know, probably someone you're going to lunch with, and I'm not invited. So that happens. No, no, no. Actually, uh, you're not that far off. It's oh, okay. Dinner. Renee from the gym. Renee, I call Renee all day. She needs a night out. I'm like, hey, let's hang out. I hear you. Give him back to the day. Now, I heard some key notes. Number 14 of the bullets. William Carneo, well, I hope that's to pronounce it. Tom Herter was telling me he can hit some threes. That big number 14, the Bullets. You got the rebound. They said he can pick up some points real quick. I don't know where he gets six points. He's got two today. He's got to get open and go to him. No one's going towards the ball. Bullets are killing the clock like they're winning. There he goes again. That's his shot. Nice play by Sertle. Wilden Sertle. You know what, Brad? Too bad you didn't help out the Bulls this year because they have some talent. You could have probably did some damage. Yeah, they, they do have some height. They get some nice size. You know, I wouldn't help out next year because they're going to be a whole new team. Hey, well, hey, help draft them. You might pick a better team. But I heard the Kings are opening up next year. Steve Howe's not returning. 
as the head coach. Oh, the Kings opening up. Yeah. But Brad, I mean, in September, your life is going to drastically change. Are you going to be? Are you going to be able to do that? I don't know. I'm, I'll tell you right now. Hell no. <laughs> I don't know. I hey, I I am allowed Sunday nights off, so I can at least go to practice. Yeah, who's going to do the games and stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Lester. He can come in as a coach to get playing. <laughs> nice ball movement there by Langston. James Shue over the back. Yeah, I would have called that, Brad. I mean, you're up 20. You might as well call it over the back. And they'll call that. Four kids are down 26. Stop calling the silly foul. So Brad Chris Rogers tells me that the Langston is on the bullets is the younger brother of Rashad Langston. Coach yeah, that's of no claims. Who said anything about a claim? I I'm just said he's pointed out. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> David Verdu has not hit the first one. He's got one more left. Oh, James Shue with the nice try there. I don't know how. And Dusen can't hit those. The big boy, he's got to be able to hit them. Loose ball. Swings it way over. Tough pass. We have five and a half to go in the game. A deep three. And Murphy with the rebound. Throws it away. King's back coming the other way. And another foul. Actually, there is a claim. It was under the claim because how Bernard Stroud was able to claim his grandson this year. The rule right under it said you have to be coached for like three years or something like that. I think that's what it says. Uh, we'll have to read the bylaw. I mean, I'm not trying to say that the dude's <laughs> going to be claimed. I'm, 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 you know, I didn't even think about that. You're the one who said something. Well, nobody claims anymore. It's not allowed. No, no more, more claims. claims. There you go. They got to be no a son. That's it. It's got to be God. Son or grandson, that's it. Yeah. Unless it's the cousin of the head coach. <laughs> <laughs> like a Lassiter or something like that. Unless his last name, unless his last name is Rogers, then he could go to one of, many, one of a few teams. Oh, that's you true. You know, yeah, there's Chris Rogers of the uh, Kings. There's Gary Rogers of the uh, Sonics. There's Beanie Rogers of the Lakers. That's They're right. going to <laughs> It's the second. Good shooting by David Verdu. Back into the game, the starting five. Well, almost the starting five for the Kings. Long to Langston. I think it's the first time we've seen this backcourt combination in the game, Brad. Uh, maybe, I thought they started it. James Shue trying to get his. Look at the rebounds. Tough, oh, tough kid. James Shue, good for him. Under four minutes, a lot of points. And the Kings are just relentless. So it seems like this Bullets is a first half team, Brad. Yeah, they fell apart bad in the third. They got very confident in the first half and I don't blame them, they did very well. Second half, they just croaked. James Shue, nice. The Bulls Good don't, fake. The Bulls did not get do not get the benefit of the whistle either, Brad. No, they don't. They've been struggling. The Bullets are the Lakers of the ALBL. <laughs> well, this is reminiscent of last week's games when the Kings manhandled the Bullets in the last second half of the last week's game in the MNBL. Alphonse hooking people up. That was Ray Sean Hopkins. 250 to go in the game. 30 point lead for the Kings. Long. The Lakers by three, by four. Over to South. Lakers. 
Oh, an offensive push off. He got lucky. <laughs> Rakeem Knight hasn't scored since the first half. Man, he's limping. I think he's coming out, Brad. That's possible. Nice save by Shu. Knight gets blocked in the face. <laughs> That's on Melvin. And they're making a line change. Run. Steve Howe knows the Run. game is over. There's no need to have his starters in. The big man comes out again. Kind of like the teacher on Charlie Brown, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Minute and a half. Rocky Knight airballs the free throw. He's a ninth grader. Lakers could use him. Well, he might end up on the team anyway. Yep. <laughs> free throws like that. How many Lakers got to pick next year? Well, Lakers have three returners, so it all depends what okay. the league numbers are going to be. Nice block right there by Daniel Zavala. James Shue going for his again. Good for him. James Shue, not a bad shooter. I think he's an eighth grader. I think he is a returner. Tom Herter wasn't sure, so we didn't put it down. Thinks eighth grade. Is Shue in the eighth grade or the last, you know? He is in the eighth. James Shue is coming back. You can start with one, Brad. Build from there. There you go. You got something. 30 seconds to go in this not so highly contested game, but a high scoring game for the Kings. Oh, blocked. What a block. Oh, he tried to alley oop him. I knew it. In one. Maurice Mara. <laughs> Got the last two baskets for the Kings as they will handily go to the finals and face the Lakers in next week's contest. No. No. It's all good. Microphone check, check one, check two. You still, okay. All right, it's all good. He did it again. It was him again. Well, first half, I give a lot of credit to the Bullets. They stayed tough. They were very close. I don't understand why they're 0-10. They have a decent team. They have really good size. Point guard needs to be a little, you know, more aggressive. Their big men are not aggressive at all. And that showed why the second half they got blown out. And on the flip side of the court, the Kings showed why they ended up in the number one slot. They play as a team. They're crashing the boards. They're rotating the ball, looking for the open guy, hitting their layups. They're using the glass. So, Brad, next Saturday in the big dance for the ALBL is going to be the first place Kings up against the second place Lakers. Yeah, that's going to be a good contest. I heard the uh, the Kings did win it, I believe, two years ago. I don't know who won it last year. I think the Celtics won it last year. I'm not too sure. But either way, the, um, the game should be decent. The Lakers are a running team, as usual. The Kings, like you said, play like a team. Uh, Andy Law, Andy, um, sorry, his I, last name's skipping me right now. But their point guard for the Kings really really good i really like him andy lamb that's it playing very well always looks to pass had some nice passes behind the back saw the outlet of course alphonse their slasher their go-to man but they got some filling guys that catapulted the second half crushing and that's going to carry him over next week i think final score 68 to 36 kings over the bullets for brad with benton bentley brad with benton Mighty Joe Young of the Celtics of the MNBL behind the camera. I'm Nesta Deli saying we'll be seeing use at the games.